we get so low? Why are we so low? Right. We're the bottom of society. We're fighting uh, for, for justice and peace and fighting for uh, good housing and good cars and good food. Why are we fighting for those things? Because we didn't work. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemies. Why did? Why are we at the bottom of society? Because we didn't serve the Lord. So we have to serve our enemies, right? See? Which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness. Right, so when you're hungry and thirsty and naked, you have to go where? Y'all own Chick-fil-A? So-called black man own Chick-fil-A? No. Walmart? Target? Any of these grocery shoppers, shop break? Do we own any of these grocery stores? What would happen if they shut all the grocery stores? They're gonna go get food from them. You might got something in your house right now, but you already got it from the grocery store, so-called white man. It's gonna run out eventually. We don't have farms, we don't know how to hunt, we don't know how to do anything for ourselves as a people. That's what the Lord means you have to serve your enemies for. The clothes you want, you want a car, finish reading. And in nakedness, right. and in want of all things. The clothes you want, a car, a house, an education, a job, money, their they, they, they face is on the money. Then they, uh, I think I think I remember about ten years ago they said they was gonna put Harriet Tubman on a twenty dollar bill. They still ain't do it. Right, right. They're not gonna do it. They go. They put. They, they're gonna keep their faces on the money to let you know that they're above you right now. All right. Reap. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. You know what a yoke of iron is? It's a chain. He says he's gonna put a chain around your neck. When did that happen to us? When did we have chains on our neck? In slavery, right? Right. He said he should put a yoke of iron upon our neck. Until he have destroyed thee. Right, now we so destroy the people, they took the chain off and we still walking around like we're slaves. We are subject to them. You gotta pay taxes, you know, no matter where you go. You gotta listen to what they say. If they say it's a curfew at nine o'clock, what you think you gotta do? Get in the house by nine o'clock. You can't say nothing about it. You can't say, oh, I'm free. I'm do what I want. This is uh, America, home of the brave, uh, land of the free, whatever they say. Land of free, home of the brave. Right, right, right. You can't say that. You gotta go get in the house. If you, if you run a stop sign, you can say, well, I'm free. They still gonna pull you over. You can't, you, you're not free. Because the Lord said, since for not serving him, you have to serve another enemy. He's gonna destroy you. Read that again. He's gonna put a chain around your neck until you're destroyed. Read that again. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Right, until we have destroyed thee. Now we calling ourselves American black, West Indian, Haitian, Puerto Rican, Cuban, Dominican, and so on. And the Lord never called us those things, right? So we got to find out what the Lord called us. I mean, Isaiah 44 and verse 1. And you give me Romans. The book of Isaiah chapter 44 and verse 1, right? Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, right. and Israel, who, whom I have chosen. And who? Whom I, I have chosen. chosen. Whom and, I have chosen. Right, and Israel, whom I have chosen. The Lord said, Israel is above all people. Israel is who he's chosen. So who is Israel today? Who are the Israelites? All right, let me go back to Deuteronomy 28. So Deuteronomy 28, what I was reading earlier about being a subject, he was talking to the Israelites, right? We were the people in subject. We had to serve our enemies. We had chains around our neck. Go to Deuteronomy 28 and go to verse 54. This is Deuteronomy 28. Verse 54. Look it out. So the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eye shall be evil toward his brother. His what? His shall eye be evil, evil towards, towards, towards his brother. brother. His eye is going to be evil toward his brother. That's right. So imagine, say this brother, I was evil towards you. What that mean? Alright, he might try to harm you. He might hate you for no reason. Don't know why. Don't never met you. It's like it's, it's equivalent to black on black crime. You know what I mean? Don't we don't we suffer through that? I'm like people, your own people might look you up and down, like what he doing, who he think he is, why he got a skateboard in his hand, they, uh, for, and judge you for no reason that never even met you before, right? Right. That that happens to, in our community. You ever seen the so-called Indian man go to an Indian man and they bang it, they they beef him, and one of them put a strap out on each other and start shooting each other? You see Indian people do that? No, they don't do that. You right, see right. Chinese people do that? They 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 repping their flag, they throwing their flag up, throwing what saying whatever gang words they be saying. They don't do those things because that happens in our community. That's because this is talking about the Israelites. Right. That's because this is talking about us. That's right. We're the Israelites, right? Read. 
Read verse 68. This is verse 68. And this is the first thing you said when you came out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Y'all heard of Egypt? Y'all know what the Israelites was doing in Egypt when they was under Pharaoh? When Moses said, let my people go? Oh. Why would you say let my people go? Because they was building pyramids. Were they building them? Were they, were they getting paid? They had a nine to five. They were slaves. So just how they were slaves back then, they're still slaves today. So the Lord said, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So they already came out of Egypt at this point. So he's saying, you don't want to serve the Lord. You don't want to serve me. You're going to go into Egypt again. You're going to go into slavery again, but a different way. Read it from the top one more time. 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Into slavery again. With ships. With what? With, with ships. ships. How do we get to America? How do we get to the islands? How do we get to South America? With what? Right. Is that, can that be talking about everybody? If you talk about every, everybody went to slave on stations. If you talk about the Israelites, who are the Israelites? Uh, right. Right. That's because we went to slave on slave ships. This is a prophecy foretold thousands of years ago by Moses that if we didn't serve the Lord, we're going to have to serve our enemies and we're going to go into slavery on slave ships. That's right. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And we've never seen our homeland again. Our brothers know what our homeland is? Wake them up, all right? All right. Our people don't know what our homeland is. We, uh, we, and they said, all right, all y'all free, go home. Where you gonna go? You gonna right. try to get on that boat and just start sailing until we get out the harbor? Right. Go back to Africa, where in Africa? Africans know where they from. Africans know, I'm Egyptian. I'm Ethiopian, Liberian, I'm from Nigeria. Where are we gonna go? If we go over there, they gonna be like, what y'all doing over there? They know that Africans don't associate themselves with us because we're not African. Right. When the Lord created everybody, they, they were a, a bunch of different dark races on the earth, right? They say, they say black people sold black people into slavery. It's not true. You had one dark race on another dark race. You had the, uh, the so-called Hamites, which would be called Africans today. They sold the Israelites into slavery. It's a so-called white man. Right? And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Unto your who? Unto your, your enemies. That word enemy keep popping up. Now, we read, now so far what we read, has all those things happened to us? We read about um, having to serve our enemies, having to um, be subject under another nation chains around our neck, our people hating each other, cursed in the city, cursed in the field. All those things happen, right? Read that again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. Weren't we sold on auction blocks? Y'all from Baltimore? Where you from? Wyoming. Wyoming, where are you from? You from Baltimore? This is a slave port. Lexington Market was a slave market. Right? They used to sell us right here. So it's saying you should be sold unto your enemies. We were sold. And the Lord keeps saying that we have enemies. And he keeps saying that for a reason, because everybody thinks like, oh, we, we should just coexist. But that's not what the Lord said. The Lord is about separation. It was that it's never about everybody being together because look what America is. America is a melting pot. And America, they, they, they're divided. There's a civil war about to happen. Everybody's heard about that? Yeah, a civil war about to happen. That's what happens when you got all people, all these people mixed together. But the Lord is about uh, being with your own race. Uh, read, read that. Let me start right. Twelve and two. And there, Salaki. And there, you shall be sold unto your enemies. Right. For bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. No man ever came and saved us out of this captivity. We had people that tried. Matt Turner, Marley, MLK, Malcolm X. We had people that tried, but no man can save us out of this captivity. Only the Lord can save us out of this captivity. Right. And that's by keeping the commandments. All right. Like I said, it's more than ten commandments. Read that. It's all right, 12 and 10 in the read. Y'all familiar with the Native Americans? What they do? They trusted the so-called white man. They uh, taught them how to farm, taught them how to uh, bathe themselves and things like that. Taught about medicine. And what did the uh, so-called white man in turn do? <coughs> he said what? He started a war with them and then slaughtered them, right? Gen tried to go genocide. Over 200 million Native Americans, right? Read that again. And stole, and stole their land, read. So right, 12 and 10 in the reads. Never trust thine enemies. The Lord say, never, never trust, trust thine enemies. enemies. No, be friends with them. Never, never trust, trust thine enemies. They said, never trust thine enemies. No matter how long something happened to go, and, and it really wasn't that long. People try to make it seem like, oh, that was, that was years ago. It's not that far in history, brother. You still had people in slavery in the early 1900s. People, grandparents, great grandparents. That's still, that's still fresh. You got people in jail, and people in jail in slavery. Who the most incarcerated people on the planet? Right. Wake them up, huh? Hispanics, Native Americans, we in that jail. And what they doing? They, they got us uh, doing slave labor. Maybe a couple pennies. So like, that's slavery, bro. 
they could say they're paying you, but that's, what, pen, what you gonna do? When the, last, when the last thing you bought something with a penny? You can't buy anything with a penny. Right. The only thing you can do with a penny is trade it for another penny. Right. You can't do nothing. Right, right, right. That's slavery. So read that again. Oh. Never trust thy enemies. Right. But like as iron rusteth. As iron rusteth. So is his wickedness. Right, so is his wickedness. They're right. going to continue to keep getting wicked. No matter what. That's why the Lord said, never trust your enemy. And that's all the Bible. And if, now, if, you, if you don't agree with that, it's not. It's not us, you're not. We didn't make that up. That's in the Bible. You feel I me? Mean? I said y'all believe in God, right? Right, so we are the Israelites. Why do we go into slavery? Why are these bad things happen to us? You said what? Yeah, we're not following the commandments, right? So what are the commandments? Because if you want to... Bad things to stop happening. If you don't want to keep getting punished by your father, what should you do? You should listen, right? Right? So, what are the commandments? So, you know, if you, that's, that's all right, brother. A lot of people only go on feet, right? Give me Leviticus 19. Leviticus 19. Yeah, Leviticus 19. And uh, you give me Exodus 20. Yeah. 8. It's Deuteronomy 14 and verse 8. Start verse 10. It's Deuteronomy 14 and verse 3. Thou shalt not eat any abom abominable thing. It says, Thou shalt not eat any abominable thing. Meaning, we have a dietary law. We are kings and priests of this world. You can't just eat anything. You think they just gave the Queen of England oh, any type of food? Teach up! They gave her some dirty McDonald's off the street. No, you, uh, they, they gave her the best food. The best right. lambs, the best, whatever they had, they gave her the best food. They give the kings the best food. Right. They don't just give them slop, mystery meat cooked in the pot for all types of wicked sauces they put in. Right? Go jump down to verse 8. Verse 8. And the swine. You know what swine is? It's pig. Pork. Read. And the swine, because it divideth the hoof, yet cheweth not the cud. It is unclean unto you. Read that again. And the swine, because it divideth the hoof, yet cheweth not the cud. It is unclean unto you. What the Lord say about pork? unclean unto you. Right, 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 right. You shall not eat any of their flesh. So what? You, you shall, shall not, not eat, eat any of their, of their flesh. flesh. Right, you shall not eat of their flesh. Nor touch their dead carcass. Right. So we can't eat pork as Israelites. That's right. a commandment from God. Why do you think you can't eat? The Lord just bored and like, I'm just speaking an animal and closed his eyes and was like that. Why do you think you can't eat pork? Wake them up, huh? You ever seen a pig eat? What they eat? Slop. Anything. Anything. They try to eat you, brother. They try to eat another pig. They they drink that harbor water. Would you drink that harbor water? No, that water is disgusting. Oh, yes. But they would drink it and be fine. Just walk around. They, the, everything, every animal isn't meant to be eaten. Everything that leg, got more legs and moves isn't meant to be eaten. It's not food. Pork isn't food. They're the trash cans of the earth. They're the ones that are supposed to eat up all the garbage and stuff and the food. Right? The Lord said we can't eat pork. Y'all eat pork? Pepperoni? Well, depending on what type of pepper you got, right? Bacon, it's pork, right? Ham pots, pork rinds, all those things, that's pork. The Lord said you can't eat those things. That's a dietary law. That's one commandment. Let me show you another. You say you're from Maryland, so you probably know about this one. See? These, these you shall eat of all that are in the water. So now he's saying what you can you can and can't eat out the water, right? All that have fins and scales shall you eat so if it got water i mean if it comes out the water it has to have fins and scales right like what fish right Read. and whatsoever have not fins and scales ye may not eat right so if it don't have fins and scales and it come out the water you can't eat it like what crabs crabs what else shrimp lobsters scallops mussels oysters you can't eat those things those are other filtration systems and garbage eaters and bottom feeders of the world. That's why a lot of people are uh, always so sick and die at the age of 50 over a random heart condition that they got out of nowhere. A lot of people are, um, are not healthy, overweight, they're getting their leg cut off due to diabetes, they're getting gout, their fingernails all black and stuff and their arteries all clogged up. That's because we're not supposed to be eating those things. The Lord gave us uh, uh, clean animals we're supposed to eat. You, got, you, can, you can eat beef, you got cows, you, got, you can eat lamb, Turkey, chicken, fish. You don't have to eat pork, brother. You can't eat pork. It's a sin. Give me uh give me Romans 6 and 23. It's a sin, brother. 
And what was the reason that we were in slavery? Because we what? Because we sinned. We didn't keep the commandments of God. When you don't keep the commandments, that's a sin. If you don't serve the Lord, that's a sin. That's what it goes back into. Read. This is Rome. Rome. Oh, you did? Okay. This is Romans 6 and 23. Read it out. For the wages of sin is death. Right. But the gift of God is eternal right. life. Right. The, gift, the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. Meaning you can repent. All right. So brothers up here used to eat pork. We used to eat pork. We used to eat shrimp, lobster, scallops, all those types of things. But when we found out the truth, we repented. We asked the Lord for forgiveness. And we didn't go back to him. Brother, you, brother, brother don't eat pork anymore. This brother don't eat pork. He used to have a pork sandwich in his left pocket. Right, right. He yeah. don't have it. Right. Throw it in the throw it away. All right? Now, the brother ain't do that. So go back to, uh, I mean, you could drop that. So what are two What are two things I taught you that we can't eat? Right? Yeah, so pork and uh, uh, animals that come out the water don't have fins and scale, right? You said what? Yeah, separation, right? Being separate from the other nations. Read. Come. Now read this. I'm going to show you another commandment. 19 and... Read. Uh, 27. Come on. Leviticus 19 and 27. Look it out. 17 and read. Listen to this. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. The Lord say, Thou, thou shalt not, not hate thy, thy brother, brother in thine heart. heart. Don't that sound like a commandment we should be keeping? What if we kept that in the body? Would the murder rate be so high? Would there be so much crime? Right. Right. It said, Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt not in any wise. Thou shalt in any wise. Come on. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Right. And that means you have to let your brother know when he's sinning. Like we told y'all, like if y'all eat pork, that's a sin. So there's other sins too that we're going to tell y'all about. But that, that's just an example. So if y'all got anybody y'all hate, if y'all own people, I got to let that go. Talk to the brother. Hit him up like, look, you offended me. I'm just saying. I know people like that. I'm like, look. You could let them know. I'm not saying y'all gotta be. You gotta go back and be, be over his house every day. But if there was an art between you and another brother, like, look, you offended me. This what it is. Y'all talk about it. Hash out. Let it go. All right. Those the end. That, that's something we need to do as a people. Because it all come back to pride. Right. Right. Come Right. Go to um. Go to Matthew. Chapter uh, 18. Give me verse. Uh, give me Matthew 18 and verse 22. Matthew 18 verse 21. and 21 in the reads. They came Peter to him and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Till seven times, Yahusha said unto him, I say not unto thee. Until seven times, but into seventy times seven. Right. So that means like an infinite amount. But if the if the person is just not receiving it, if you if you, if you did what you did on your, if you hold up your end of the bargain. You know what I mean? He's like, look, I, I want to let it go, but the other person won't let it go. You can't trade. Give me verse fifteen. Eighteen, verse fifteen. This is eighteen and verse fifteen. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, right. go and tell him his fault right. between thee. And him alone. Right. That's, that's between. So say if it's y'all two, right? Y'all, y'all go talk about. It. Don't come up here in front of everybody and just start arguing and throwing skateboards at each other. Right? You know what I mean? Just go. Y'all go figure it out by yourself. And 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 if it comes down to it, you bring um you bring it to the, if you're part of a congregation, you bring it to the congregation. You get some righteous witnesses, and then that's where the matter is settled. But if you did, if you if you reached out and the brother doesn't want to see you, that's not on you. All right. Just make sure you do what you're supposed to do on your end. Appreciate it. Go ahead. Matthew 10 and 14. Come. Matthew 10 and 14 in the reads. And whosoever shall not receive you, right. nor hear your words, right. when you depart out of that house or city, right. shake off the dust of your feet. Do what? Shake, shake off, off the, the dust, dust of, of your feet. feet. That means like you tried it, but they, they don't want to receive you. Can't do nothing about it. So go on about your business, right? It's a good precept. Go back to um, Leviticus 19. Leviticus 19 go to and verse, um, 27. 27 in the reads. Ye shall not round the corners of your heads. Right. You shall not round the corners of your head, meaning shave your head bald. Right? Y'all don't do it. Let's see it. All right. Neither shall thou mar the corners of thy beard. And you can't shave your beard off. Y'all brothers go beards. If you have a beard, don't shave it off. That's what's promoted in America. That's what they used to do to us in slavery. They'd shave our head bald and they'd shave our beard off to a masculine. Right. 
and they say your beard is threatening, it's, it doesn't look, it looks dirty and things like that. That's a that's 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 um, something given to you from the Lord. Right. The Lord said the men are supposed to have the uh, beards on their face. Right, right, that's right. You got people that's 80 years old. They sh they still shave their beard down to the skin. They right. look crazy. Right. Those have a beard on your face. All right, whatever you can grow, let it grow. Right. Mm -hmm. Read. You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead. And you can't cut yourself for the dead. Right. Read. Nor print any marks upon you. What that sound like? It said print marks upon you. Tattoos. Right, y'all buddies got tattoos? Y'all had the appointment to go get some? All right, don't make that appointment. Right, right, right. You always say you can't get tattoos. Right. right. And brothers up here had tattoos. Uh, still, some brothers still got them. But they didn't get any more once they found out. Because have y'all ever heard that you weren't supposed to get tattoos in the Bible? Right. Who, how are you supposed to know if nobody taught you that? That's why you're learning it right now. So y'all heard it. Don't go get any tattoos. And the Lord is about repentance, all right? Give me Acts 3 and 19. Acts 17 and 30. Acts 17 and 30. Oh. Acts 3 and 19 and Acts 17 and 30. Oh. Acts 3 and 19 and a reese. Repent ye therefore. The Lord saying, repent, repent ye therefore. therefore right? And be converted. And what? And, and be, be converted. converted. Right. Repent and be converted. That Read. your sins may be blotted out when the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Right. You want your sins to be blotted out. You don't want to, on the day of the Lord, you don't want to be caught up with a bunch of sins on you, brother. All right. Read that. It's Acts 17 and 30. And the times of his ignorance, God winked at him. But now commandeth all men everywhere. He said, the time of your ignorance, God winked at Meaning, y'all didn't know before that you couldn't eat pork, you couldn't shave your beard, things like that. He said, the time of your ignorance, God winked at Meaning, okay, they didn't know. So I'm going to give them a chance to repent. I'm going to give them grace. But now, read. But now commandeth all men everywhere to repent. To what? To, to repent. repent. Y'all know how to repent? You know how to repent. Repent is ask the Most High for forgiveness, and don't turn back to your sins. So don't uh, act, don't ask the Most High for forgiveness for eating pork, and then you won't go get uh, a, a bacon cheeseburger. All right. That means you're supposed to forsake your sins. So the first the first thing we talked about when we came up here is what's our race? Ask y'all what's your race? What's your race? We Israelites, right? All right. All right. The black Trinidadians, African American, Negro, Afro American. Throw that in the harbor and leave it there. That's right. That's not who we are. Those are just by words put on us. What did Is why did Israelites go into slavery? Oh, uh, why did we go into slavery? You said what? I forgot the name of it. It was something about us not. Uh, Going by right, no, us not uh, us not serving the Lord, us not keeping the commandments. Right, right. That's why these things happen to us. They call curses. The Lord put curses on us. Right. What is uh, what are some of the commandments y'all learn? Right. Anything out of the water without or without scales. Fins and scales, right? No tattoos. No tattoos. No about the Sabbath. No shaving beard. Y'all yeah, know about the Sabbath thing? Give me that. It's the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. We get out. Remember the Sabbath day. No, forget it. Remember, Remember the, the Sabbath, Sabbath day. day. To keep it holy. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy right. God. That's right. So the Lord said the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord. You can't do any work on it. What's the seventh day of the week? Uh, Saturday. Saturday. Right? What the brother said Saturday. But days don't start from midnight to midnight. That's madness. Yesterday, it got dark at like 5 o'clock. And it was still dark at midnight. And it was still dark at 3 a.m. How would you know what time? That's confusion. The days go by from sundown to sundown. So when the sun goes down, your day ends and another one begins. So yesterday, Friday, at sundown, that's when the Sabbath begins. And the Sabbath is going to end today at sundown. When the sun goes down around 5, 530, every time it goes down. All right? That's how you get your Sabbath. Day. And what are you supposed to do? You're not supposed to do well on your Sabbath day. That's what, read that again. Verse 9. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. Right, so you got six days throughout your week. So whether you got to cut the grass, do your chores, do all your homework, uh, exercise and all that. Read. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Right. In it thou shalt do salakim. In it thou shalt not do any work. In it what? In, In it. Any right. work. Right, thou shalt not do any work. Right, right, right. So Sabbath day is a rest day. That's right. You're supposed to be out sweeping or y'all got jobs? Y'all, you got a job? All right, boys. You got work on Saturdays. 
All right, well, you let your boss know. Like, look, look, I don't work on Saturday. That's against it. We don't, we're, we don't, we don't believe in religion. We're the Israelites. We believe in the commandments of God. But tell them, like, look, it's against my religion. Right. You don't got to sit there and break the whole Bible down to them. Right, right. And go precept upon precept. Go coke and, and, and try to confound them. All right, you got to right. do is just tell them, look, it's against my religion. I can't work on Saturdays. Right. And they, and they, and they can't discriminate against you. Right. You got to let them know. Okay. And, we, and we, when you want to start working, brother, um, look for a job that's Monday through Friday, something like that. You know what I'm saying? In the morning, so you don't have to work on Friday night. Because that's the Sabbath also. Right? Give me, give me down Luke uh, 22 and verse 31. Luke 22 and 31 in the reads. Go to verse 32. And 32 in the reads. But I have prayed for thee, right. that thy faith fail not. Right. And when thou art covered, converted. Converted. Right, read that again. When And when thou art converted. Right, so like, read, read verse 31. Listen to this. Come. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you. Right, it says, Satan hath desired to have you. Right. You know the brother right here? I right, just pulled up. What I was teaching these brothers is that we Israelites, according to the Bible, God's chosen people. That's right. Black, African American are just by words put on the store slave. Right? So read. That he may sift you as wheat. Right, that he may sift you as wheat. Read. But I have prayed for thee. But I what? But, but I, I have, have prayed, prayed for, for thee. thee. Right, y'all gotta pray for each other. That's what brotherly love is. Brotherly love is not handing each other a blunt or right. a bottle or a gallon of Hennessy. Brotherly love is praying for each other. Read. That thy faith fail not. Read. And when thou art converted. And when what? When, when thou, thou art converted. converted. Right. Y'all two know. Y'all two know y'all Israelites. Right? Y'all know. Y'all know some of the commandments. Not all of them. Y'all know some of the commandments. Y'all are converted. Read. Strengthen thy brother. Do what? Strengthen, Strengthen thy, thy brother. brother. Y'all gotta let other people know. Now, like he said earlier, everybody isn't gonna receive you. You just gotta shake the dust off. Whoever wants to receive it, they receive it. Right. But y'all converted. Y'all have to strengthen y'all brother. Right. So what? A, um. What's our race? We're Israelites. And they're saying that because I told them that black is just a color. Like, uh, your outfit. You're not the same color as your outfit. African America are named after two different white people. Did y'all know that? Africa named after Leo Scipius Africanus. America named after Amerigo Vespucci. Right. You can't come, you don't, we don't come from two different white men. From two different continents. It doesn't make sense. You feel what I'm saying? So those are not who we are. And we are we we are against the religions of the world. We're, we're, we we don't we're not Christians. We, we're not we're not in Christianity. We follow uh, the Lord, but we're not with modern day Christianity. And right. these Christians because they're hypocrites according to the Bible. Right, right. right. Because like I said earlier, when I said y'all been in church, have y'all heard these things? I say y'all haven't heard these things. Why haven't your pastor taught you the Bible? You had to know these things. What is Christ? Look like? Right, in the Revelation 1 and 13. Go, oh. go, right. Revelation right. chapter 1 and verse 13. You don't, you know, know. You don't look in, like Goku, right? And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, right. clothed with a garment down to the foot. Right, because he had a garment on, ancient uh, royal apparel. He didn't have on black jeans and, and boots, right? Read. And girt about the patch with a golden girdle. Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool. What all these brothers had? We're white, white like, like wool. Right. We all got woolly hair up there. This is woolly hair. Like you got, you got, you got. The elders, the brothers, the, the young, young brother right there, the young king. That's woolly hair. Read. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Right. And his feet. And his what? And, and his, his feet. feet. Like hold this. I'm gonna pull up a picture. I'm gonna just type Jesus in on Google. Right. I already got it typed in last night. You go on Google and type this in. You see. Does he have blue hair? Like he have hair like us? Is he have a flame? Is he have fiery eyes? Fierce looking man? No. Right? And his feet, read. And his feet, like unto fine brass. His, his feet the same color as the rest of his body, right? So he would have his feet with fine brass. His skin would be fine brass, the rest of his body. Does he have skin like fine brass? Read. As if they burned in a furnace. As what? As, as if, if they burned burn in, in a furnace. He says as if they burned in a, in a furnace. He would be a dark skinned man. Who is this? We don't know. Why is this pushed against us? Why why did they teach us this? Right. Give me Psalms 83 and verse 2. Why did they teach this to us? This image is everywhere. All I did was type in Jesus. And then keep going. I'm just gonna keep saying. It's gonna keep saying. It's gonna keep saying what he means. Why they keep pushing that image? When it's clearly described of what he looks like in the Bible and what the Jews look like in the Bible. Right. Christ, was, Christ was a Jew. Right. Jew comes from Judah. Right? 
I would beat you as a point to the budget. Right. So what's, your, what's your fault this year? You say you was black and Trinidadian. What's your fault this year? Black. Black? Be a Jew according to the Bible. Somebody give me Jeremiah 14 2. Somebody give me Song of Solomon 1 and 5. And read whatever the first thing I called it. Psalm. Psalm 83. Psalms 83 and 2 in the reads. Bring it out. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. They go to that word enemies again. They say, thine enemies make a tumult. They're making a noise. Read. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. But you got people that hate you. Because only your enemy would tell you you're just black. You're just a color. You're, you're African American. You're a slave. And that's all you'll ever be. Only your enemy would tell you. Read. Right. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. All right. And consulted against thy hidden ones. Crafty counsel meaning they were being deceptive. Like they got social media. They're trying to trick you. And like, oh, you could just be a rapper or a little dirt. Or try to be like Allen Iris. Get a bunch of tattoos. And go play basketball. And, and, and that's all you're going to ever amount to be. You're going to right. be a rapper, a basketball player, or a drug dealer. Right. That's all they say we could be. Right? Read. Right. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Right. They say, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Why we ain't rapping about being a, a doctor? Teach, being huh? a right, why? Well, who's rapping about being a righteous man? Right. You don't see that. They don't push that in the media. They rap about killing each other, hating right. each other, right. doing this to women, right. smoking this, drinking that. Read. That the name of Israel. That the what? That, that the, the name, name of, of Israel, Israel. May be no more in remembrance. Right. That may be. Read that again. That the may, name of Israel. May be no more in remembrance. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Right. Did y before y'all came up here, have you ever heard that y'all were Israelites? That's because they put it out of remembrance, meaning they didn't want anybody to know about it. That's mm -hmm. right. Because if you know who you were, if you got a. What, they, what, did they, what you think they did to smart sleeves? Killed them. They killed them or cut their tongue out, chopped their feet off, something like that. They didn't want a smart slave. That's right. They 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 they, they try to keep you as low as possible. Because when you don't know anything, you're easy to control. Mm -hmm. you're just going all the way. They be like, oh yeah, just just, just go shoot him real quick. Ain't nothing going. Uh, uh, Lil Dirk said it. Right. Uh, Pooh Shiesty said it. Right. You can go do it. Right. Okay. They don't want you to have any type of intelligence or anything. They don't want you to read. Y'all ever heard the saying, if you want to hide something from a black man, you do what? Put it in the book. Right. That's right. Our people don't read. Right. People don't got books. They don't know where the library at. The library is decimal. Mm. There was a library around my old neighborhood. There used to be nobody in there. It's just empty. Dust everywhere. You can't breathe. Wow. Read. Huh. For they have consulted together with one consent. They all the other nations consulted together with one consent to hold the Israelites down. Read. They are confederate. Against thee. They are what? They, they are, are confederate, confederate against, against thee. They are together against you, so-called black men. Y'all, and, and I don't, I'm not familiar with Wyoming, but in Baltimore, all of the food stores, are they owned by our people? Or do they got um, the, they got the fun walk, Chinese people in there. They got the Arabs in the gas station, or the liquor store. And they got the uh, the so-called Africans at 7-Eleven. Every other, everybody else got a business in our own neighborhood. Right. The only business we got is uh, uh, selling drugs in our neighborhood right, right. and then going to jail for it. Right. That's the only business we got in our neighborhood. We're killing each other. Why don't we own businesses in our own neighborhood? Why can't we police out? Why don't we police our own people? Why is somebody all the way from Harford County a police officer in Baltimore City? And he ain't never stepped foot in here one day in his life. Exactly. Right. Why is he policing you? He don't know anything about the city. He don't even know where he at. Right. Never turn his GPS off because he always lost. Cause they got they they, they just want to they want to keep you down so bad they want to police you they can't mind their business anything right. you do they want to follow after right y'all seen the um they got the rappers over in China now they got dreads right. and they doing all our dances and they trying to dress like they got the chains on and gold teeth that's because everybody want to be like you right because right. what did the Lord say about the Israelites they're what above what that are upon the face of the earth everybody right. wants to be like us right, right. Every, everybody want to everybody want to hoop. Now, now everybody want to hoop. I thought I thought baseball was America's sport. I thought they want, what happened to baseball? What happened right. to that? Right. 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 Now every, what happened to um, Sweet Home Alabama? Why are they all right. rapping then? Why are they all got temp feeds? What happened to the bowl cut and the, the slick back and the mullet? Right. 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 With the one mustache and the, uh, <laughs> right. what was the, the Fu Man shoe? Whatever it's right. called. <laughs> that little goatee they got. Now they all want to be like us. That's because we're the greatest people on this earth. Right. Right. The Lord right. said, I have chosen thee above all people. Right, y'all understand that? And I'm telling y'all this, I'm telling you, uh, who got Song of Solomon 1 and 5? Right here, Song of Solomon. Right, Solomon, if, if you look up Solomon's net worth, he'll be the richest man in history. That's right. Above Mansa Musa, above, all, above Donald Trump, that they people that claim to say they're the richest person. Look up Solomon, he had a net worth over a trillion dollars. Read. 
This is Song of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 5. This is Solomon. Oh. I am black. I am what? I, I am, am black. black. Solomon said, I am black. Why they don't ever teach that? Read. But commonly, O ye daughters of Jerusalem. Right, go jump down to verse 10. Verse 10. Thy cheeks are commonly with rows of jewels. Right, he had jewels in his cheeks, meaning what? He had fronts. He had diamonds in his teeth. Who got diamonds in their teeth? We do. Right, that's because this is our forefathers. Right. These, these things, everything you see now isn't new. We had, we had the we had the best dancers, cookers, intelligent people. Read, uh, read. Thy neck with chains of gold. Thy what? Thy, Thy neck with, with chains, chains of gold. gold. Right, we got the chains of gold on. We got, we got a rapper named Two Chains. Yeah, right. oh, we got two right. chains. Three chains, however many chains he want to wear. We got the gold chains on. Teach, that's, right? that's our forefather. Give me Job uh, 30 and 30. What you got? This is Job 30 and 30. This is a, a, wise, it's a wise man in the Bible. A very wise man who went through tribulation and never forsook the most high. Read. My skin is black. My what? My, my skin, skin is black. I thought everybody in the Bible was white. My, my skin, skin is, is black. black. Right. Upon me. Right. His skin is black upon him. Right, right, right. This is our history book. This isn't a book of fairy tales and good stories and life lessons. This is a history book. Wake him up, huh? This is our book. Give me uh, Syrac 17 and verse 11. Give me Baruch chapter 4 and verse 1. Jeremiah. Let's go read that. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, and verse 2. Read it out. Judah mourning, and the gates thereof language. So it says Judah is in mourning, meaning who 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 has to go out and protest for equal rights? And fight against segregation and things like that. Us do. It said they're in mourning. They're crying over their child being shot down by the police. Or being shot down by another brother. Or being kidnapped due to sex trafficking and things like that. Our people are in mourning. We can't find a good job you try to find a good job but they deny you right. just because of your name they see your name on the application say Jay Kwan they say they just throw it out right, you could have right. a 4.0 GPA you could have never missed a day of work you could have always been on time for school you could have had all the best grades top of your class and they see Jay Kwan at the top they just rip it up based off your name right. they are black unto the ground they are who they, they are, are black, black unto, unto the, the ground. ground you look at the soil what color is it right what did, what did the Lord make Adam from Dust of the earth, the right. ground. So, but the, if you look up a picture of Adam, you're gonna see him naked, a so-called white man naked, uh, running through the woods. Right, right. Looking crazy. <laughs> why would, why would you, why would anybody depict that? Why would the Lord create the first man, a so-called what, what they would say, the first man, a so-called white man running naked through the woods? <laughs> what sense does that make? What, what would that? What's the purpose of that? Right, it's right. It's just, it's, it's, they just making stuff up. It's just all Greek mythology. And, and they're winging it. That's they don't know what they're talking about. Right. It's because only the service of the Lord can understand the Bible. That's right. You got other Bible. You got Bibles missing. You got part of the Bible missing. It's called the Apocrypha. Ever heard of that? These are 14 books taken out of the original 1611 King James Version. That's right. They took this out. Let me. Uh, what y'all holding it? Oh, y'all holding it. Sirach 1711. All right, bring that. Yeah, bring those two. Sirach chapter 17 and verse bring, 11. Bring it out. Besides this, he gave them knowledge. Right, he gave the Israelites knowledge. And the law of life for inheritance. And it what? And, and the, the law, law of life for inheritance. inheritance. Right, the law of life for inheritance. That's our heritage that we lost. That's the so-called black man, so-called Hispanic man, so-called Native American man heritage. The law of life, the commandments. Read. He made an everlasting covenant. And what? He made, he made an, an everlasting covenant. covenant. Read. With them. With who? With, with them. them. He said he made an everlasting covenant with the Israelites. Right. With them. He didn't make it with everybody else. So that's contrary to Christianity and all these other religions that, that's being taught. Because the Lord said he made a covenant with the Israelites. With you. A contract with you. You have to hold up your end of the contract. That's right. You have to hold up your end of the deal. What you think the goal is to make it the way? To heaven, right? How would you do that? You know, how would you do that if you're just wicked all the time? Mm. And you don't follow, you don't want to listen. If your parents said they was going to give you a PS5 at the end of the year, if you were good, and you was being bad your whole, your, the whole year, do you deserve it? You don't Teach, huh? You didn't go to school. You right. was out skipping class. You missed practice. You was late for the interview you were supposed to go to. Right. Or you just skipped it. And you're over here doing all types of wickedness in the street. You don't deserve it, right? That's right. Give me Baruch chapter 4, verse 1. This, oh. And this is in the hidden books that they gave us. This is the, I mean, that they took away from us. This is Baruch 4 and 1. Right? This is Baruch 4 and 1. This is the book of the commandments of God. This is what? This, this is, is the book of the, of the commandments of God. 
and the law that endureth forever. And the law that endureth forever. So, give me a second. All they that keep it shall come to life. And all they what? All, all they, they that keep it shall, shall come, come to life. life. Right. Keep the commandments is coming to life. That's uh -huh. true life, brother. That's what. You, that's your goal on the earth. Let me give me Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. That's your goal in life, brother. To come to life and keep the commandments. Serve the most high. That's right. Serving the government and serving this nation isn't going to do anything for you. Let me give me Lamentations 4 and 16. Uh -huh. What you got? Like you dropped this. Uh, you said no, you can get that and you dropped that. Give me Lamentations 4 and 17. 16. What you got? Lamentations. Well, Lamentations. No, drop, hold that. Read Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Right. No. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God. Do what? Fear, fear God. God. You have to fear God, right? And keep his commandments. And do what? And, and keep, keep his, his commandments. commandments. Read. For this is the whole duty of man. For what? For this, this is, is the whole duty of man. man. Your purpose on this earth is to serve the Most High. He didn't create you to go serve somebody else. That's man. Why would you, uh, if, a, uh, if a potter, if, if someone who creates something, they're going to create it for themselves. Or something to sell. But they create it for their own benefit. They're not creating it for it to go benefit somebody else. That's what you created for you. Right? Go to, uh, what else I call it? Lamentations. Give me Lamentations 4. Start at verse 16. Lamentations 4 and 16. Bring it out. The anger of the Lord have divided them. Right. He, he will no more regard them. Right. They respected not the persons of the priests. Read. They favored not the elders. As for us, our eyes as yet failed. Salaki. Our eyes as yet failed for our vain help. Right. Our eyes has failed for our vain help. What's vain, vain help looking for uh, things that aren't going to benefit us? Right. You're, looking in, you're looking for a government assistance. Not saying that I mean you can use it if you need it, but thinking that's going to save you out this captivity, thinking that's going to give you salvation, that's not going to do anything for you. You got to understand what true salvation is. Read. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that right. could not save us. A nation that what? That could not, not save, save us. us. Right. A nation that could not save us. People think they come to America from the islands and from all over the country, all the all over the world, and they say they're going to come to America and they're going to make it. All they do is come to America and get drunk. Right. And start mm -hmm. celebrating Christmas, right. Halloween, Thanksgiving, yep. when the Lord never told us to do those things. Y'all celebrate those holidays? Now the Lord told us not to do that. When the when in, where in the Bible does it say Jesus was born on December 25th? Wake him up, ah! Right? It's not. Where, where is the Easter bunny in the Bible jumping around with eggs, throwing them at people? Right, right, right. right. That's not in the Bible. Where does it say in Halloween, go put on a poo shiesty mask and, uh, and, and, and a thriller jacket and some random boots and right, go right. ask for candy at random people's houses. Right, right. right. And you still and you're 27 years old. Right. It's it's, it's not in there. Right, right. Yeah, it? <laughs> it's not in there. What you got? This is now hold it. This more. Come, on, can you finish keeping it. They hunt our steps. They do what? They, they hunt, hunt our steps. steps. They hunt our steps. They're watching us. Day and night. You might be driving. You you could be driving perfectly, but you got your music blasting. You might got the tents a little bit too dark. And they be like, oh, hold on, that might be a that might be a Negro in that car. That might be a nigga in that car. And the cop get behind you. Teach, you right? driving perfectly. Right, right. And you see him get behind you. Peep it. Everybody know it. You right. peep it. Now let me let me yeah let me go ten and two. Like the brother like the brother got it. Let me go ten and two. Let me look up. Turn my blinker on. Look. Check. Hit the. <laughs> <laughs> you got you got to drive perfectly. Wake they, wait, up. they waiting to pull you over. And if you get to that stop sign and you get to the line and you graze that line, they're going to they gonna pull you over. Say you ran a stoplight. Then they're going to pull you out the car. They might throw something in the back and like, you also had cocaine in you. Right, right, right. <laughs> but you ain't never had that in your life. Right, you know, right. I don't even know. You, you never had, you never sold drugs. You never did drugs. You don't, you don't know anything about it. They're like, yeah, you got all these coke. Yeah, get in the back. And then they just throw you in jail. Right, right, right. And then they do the good cop, bad cop with you. They get, right. in, they get you in there. The bad cop come in. He kick the chair and say, where did you get it from? Who sold it to you? What were you going to do with it? And you're in there scared. You don't know what's going on. And right. then the good cop come in. He act like everything cool. He say, look, just take this plea deal. Just say you did it. And we're going to get you out of here in 30 days. Right. That's all you got to do. And then you ended up there for 50 years. Right. right. Teach, huh? That's what this nation do to us. Right. right. This nation is vain help. It doesn't, do any, it doesn't serve us any purpose. Only thing we're doing here is being servants. And being brainwashed and thinking that uh, uh, we can't amount to anything in life. That's right. Read. That we cannot go in our streets. That we cannot what? That, that we, we cannot, cannot go, go in our, our streets. streets. We go in our streets. Uh, if we don't get shot down by the police, we're going to get shot down by one people. Right. That's right. We're going to get beat up, robbed. Read. 
Our end is near. Our what? Our, our end, end is, is near. near. Our days are fulfilled. Right. For our end is come. Right, for the end is come, right? Read, uh, what you got? Uh, still stuck at this. Fine, what you want? 1 68. Fine, go to Luke 1 and 68. Listen to this. This is Luke 1 and 68. Read yeah. out. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. No, blessed be the Lord God of everybody. Blessed, blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Who are we? So who, who is our God? The Lord God of Israel. He's our, He's the God of who? He said, blessed be the Lord God of who? Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Could that be the God of everybody? If he just saying, blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Read. For he hath visited and redeemed his people. Of all who? And redeemed his people. Read. And have raised up a horn of salvation for us, for, everybody. for, for us, us in the house of his servant David, he as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets. Right, because even in the Old Testament, it's prophesied. Read. Which have been since the world began, Read. that we, we should, should be saved, saved from, from our enemies. enemies. True salvation. That, that we, we should be saved from, from our enemies. You had enemies in the Old Testament. We still got enemies in the New Testament. Right. right. We keep hearing that word enemies. That we should be saved from our enemies. That's what salvation is. Being That's right. right. Being saved from this hellhole. Teach up. People think uh, after you die, you can go to a place called hell. Brother, what's worse than this? Right. Brother, right. brother you gotta you gotta go through all this. Uh, the whole y'all fell my man. Y'all still in high school? No. Graduated college. All right, y'all y'all still young. Y'all when y'all start paying bills and stuff and get and get up there to thirty, you can be like, if it's a place worse than this, then I don't know what to do. Right. right. Mm. What place can be worse than this? Right. The air is all polluted. Can't go get water. Right. If you try to collect your own rainwater, they might arrest you. Yep. Y'all know that? Yeah, they, they I don't know if they still do it, but they used to arrest you if you try to collect rainwater. You can't try to set up your own business without supervision. You try to set that up, they can be like, oh you're this is illegal. Right. Under uh, uh code 352 C. Or just something just making something up. You made up a new code. You can't thrive in this society. You gotta work early early morning, you gotta get up at 6 a.m. and they be like, look, we need you to work a double. And you work at 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. And they was like, look, we can't offer you the overtime. We're only going to pay you from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. Dang. Teacher! And, 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 and be here on time for work tomorrow for another shift. Right. And some people got to deal with it. Right. So some people, uh, they didn't, they say everybody had the same opportunity. Everybody didn't have the same opportunity. Not at all. Everybody didn't grow up in a white picket fence house, in a gated community, and their father owned the business. Wake him up! And, their, and the father passed the business on to them. Right. Some people grew up in a in a in a, in a, in a um in a neighborhood where their their, um, their parents might have held to say sell drugs to get them food. Right. And you hear you hear rappers talking about that all the time. Uh, Freeway. He say he got he's, he's, he had to sell drugs to feed his kids. Well, what else he supposed to do? Is he supposed to go to uh, First National Bank and walk in there and say, "Look, I want to be the CEO so I can feed my kids." And right. gonna say, "You out your damn mind." Right. Mm -hmm. Gonna say, "Get your black ass out of here." What's wrong right. with you? <laughs> He can't say that. Right, right. If you only present it with that op op that situation, uh, people are gonna do what they gotta do to feed their kids. Right. And then if you get caught, now he gotta go to jail. And then what the kids gonna do? They don't have any money. They are gonna send them off to child support or uh, CPS or whatever they call it. Send them to a foster home that they don't get no love or education. And it's just the cycle continues. It's everybody the same uh, opportunity when that's not true. Right. All right. Read. And from. Like and from the hand of all that hate us. And from the hand that all all that hate us. You got people that hate you. Like I said, only your enemy will put leave you in living conditions like this. They say Biden is going to help the black people and save them out of America. What is brother? What is <laughs> is he helping the black people save them out of America? Right. Or they say Obama was gonna do it. Right. They say Trump might do it because Trump is a good businessman. No, none of them care about us, buddy. Right. They don't care about us. They only care about their own personal gain. They only they only want to look good on TV, they they might go to some random uh, little Jake house, little so-called black 14-year-old house, and go play basketball with him and football and say, look, I'm down with y'all. And then you never see him again. Right. And then he putting crack in your neighborhood, right. and drugs in your neighborhood, and telling you you could be all uh, all type of wicked and do whatever you want to do. That's right. Why didn't Biden, if Biden love this, or Trump love this, or any of these uh, politicians, why didn't they go say, look, you blacks are the Israelites, you have to keep God's commandments. Right. That's why you were in slavery. That's why you were enslaved to my forefathers. Right. Why didn't they ever say that? Because they don't want you to know that. Right. Right. So what did you came up late? But what do y'all? But what, what? What was the first thing we talked about? Who are we? We are the who? The Israelites. We're the Israelites. We're God's chosen people. What do the Israelites? Why did the Israelites want to slave? Right. We didn't follow the law. We didn't serve the Lord. We didn't keep His commandments. We. What's the Lord's name? You said Jehovah. I told you what. The letter J wasn't invented to the 1500s. 
Give me Psalms 83 18. And give me Matthew 1 and 21. What does Christ look like? He look like us, right? What do all the prophets Solomon? What do he look like? Us. All the prophets, all the people of significance in the Bible look like us. Right? This is Psalm 83 and 18. Look it out. That men may know. That thou, whose name alone is Yahweh, is what is Yahweh? Yahweh. That's the Lord's name in Hebrew. The Bible is written in Hebrew. We are the Israelites, the Hebrew Israelites. Hebrew is our holy language, right? He said, "Whose name alone is Yahweh?" Look at the sign. This is the Paleo Hebrew. That's the Yahweh. Put it together, you get Yahweh. And we're going to read about what Jesus Christ's name is. Because Jesus wouldn't be his name either if the letter J was just invented, right? Matthew 1 and 21. Where we got? The book of Matthew chapter 1 and verse 21. Go. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shah. Call his name what? Yahweh Shah. Right, here we go. We got the paper of Hebrew again at the bottom. Yahweh Shah. Hi. Yahweh Shah. All right. Read. For he shall save his people. All people. His, his people, people read, from their sins. Right. He's saving us from our sins. What is sin? When we don't follow the commandments. That's right. 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 Why do we go into slavery? What should we do? We should follow the commandments. That's right. Simple as that. What commandments that? have y'all learned? All right. No, no. You can't shave a ball. You can cut it down. You just can't shave a ball. All right, all right, mm -hmm. all right, cool. You got, you got yeah, two. You, you got to give me a gold star. Try to sneak out of here. <laughs> uh, you can't. Um, he said most of them. No, he said two. <laughs> he said you can't. He said you can't shave your head bald. And he said you can't eat things without fins and scales. What else can't you do? You can't eat pork. You can't eat pork. What else can't you shave? You can't shave your face. Can't shave your beard. All right. Mm -hmm. What can't you? Uh, 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 what about you? You came up late. I don't know if you heard it. What, what day are we supposed to remember? Saturday. Sabbath day, right? Which is Friday night sundown to Saturday night sundown. Right. Because Abraham didn't have a watch on looking to see what time it was. Right. So if it was about to be midnight. Right. From sundown to sundown, right? Those are some of the commandments that we keep. If y'all from Baltimore or if y'all live here, we're um we're here every Friday and every Saturday. Y'all can keep coming and hear more information. But y'all y'all can't forget those things. Right. You can't right, tomorrow right, somebody right. asks you what your race is. And you can't just say, oh, I'm just, just, just a nigga, just here, in the streets. I'm a hood, I'm a, I'm a thug. That's all right. right. You, can't just, you can't forget everything you learn. Right. We read earlier, it said, when thou art converted, strengthen thy brother. You got to go strengthen, you got to go wake other people. Up. Right. All right? You said what? Numbers, come, bring it up. The book of Numbers, chapter 15 and 38. We know. Speak unto the children of Israel. Who are the children of Israel? We are. Read. Right. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. Right, these are fringes. We got the silver on. Brother got the light blue silver kind of mix. Brother got the black and white. Brother, this brother is triple fringed up on the sad wow. on, the, on, the, on, the, on the Shabbat. Right, right. Wow. <laughs> brother is triple fringed up. You got the brother got the red. You got the people behind you. Even the little, uh, the little brother got them. Isaiah, right. let me see your fringes. Yeah. 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 Hey, brother, if he got the fringes on, y'all got the fringes. Right. right. Read. That they, Salaki, speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. Right, so they have to go on the borders of their garment. Read. Throughout their generation. How long? Throughout, Throughout their, their generation. generation. Read. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. Like, so we got different color fringes, right? But well, we all got this blue ribbon. You see the blue ribbon? We all got the blue ribbon. Even though we got different colors. Read. And this shall be unto you for a fringe, right. that ye may look upon it. And look upon your fringes. And remember all the commandments of the Lord. And do what? And, and remember, remember all the commandments, commandments of, the of the Lord. Read. And do them. And do them. And so we got to remember all the commandments of the Lord. This mm. sets you apart. Right. When you walk around with these in public, people are looking like, what's that carpet on the bottom of his shirt? What's that? Right. That's because you're set apart. That's what holy means, set apart. You're not like everybody else. You can't dress like everybody else. You can't eat like everybody else. You can't act like everybody else. You have to be an Israelite. You have to be, uh, give me Exodus chapter 19 and verse 6. Exodus 19 verse 6. Exodus chapter 19 and verse 6. Bring it out. 
and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests. A kingdom of who? A, a kingdom, kingdom of, of priests. priests. And a holy nation. And a what? And, and a, a holy, holy nation. nation. Alright, we have to be a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. Can't be like everybody else, bro. You gotta be you have to be a, a son of God. God's chosen people. You have to be a king, you have to be a priest. Alright, read. And that's these uh, come on, that's it. Alright. Last time. Pop quiz before y'all go. Y'all gotta get every question right, alright? Right. What did God call us? What's our nationality? Yeah, Israelites. Israelites. Alright, one for one. Alright. Why do we go into slavery? We're not following the commandments. We didn't keep the commandments. Alright, right, right. Alright. Right. Name three things we name two things we can't eat. Pork. Fish is scales and fins. Fish without fans, uh, scales and fins. Right, right, right. right. right, right. What's today? Sabbath day. Sabbath day. That's right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Cook them a fire. Cook them right, a grease right, or oil, whatever they say. Four for four. All right. What are these? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you said what? You came with an F. Read it again. Read it again. Numbers 15 to 38. It's a, it's, it's a word most people ain't heard from, so we're going we're gonna to show y'all mercy. We're going to show mercy. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes. That make them what? Fringes. fringes. Right. And the borders of their garments. Fringes. These are called fringes. All right. So what are these called? Fringes. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> five, five. All right. What did the Lord look like? Black man. Like called black man. It looked like us. All right. Six for six. All right. Y'all got to get one, set, one more for completion. All right. All right. Who the Lord say you never trust? Enemies. The enemies, come on, seven for seven. Oh, 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 all right, put a flyer. All right, put the flyer. We got a YouTube channel on there, right? You can scan the QR code and take you straight to it. We can just type it in, it's on the front. Watchman for Israel. It's on YouTube. All right? <laughs> Y'all brothers from, yeah, you, you say you're from Baltimore. We got to keep seeing you, brother. We out here every Friday from 5.30 to whenever. And we out here every Saturday from 12.30 to whenever. All right? So our brothers gotta keep coming out and learning more information. Right. All right. All right. Give me uh, give me uh, Romans eleven and one. Give me um, Romans thirteen and eleven. And what you got? Romans eleven. I can't read it. Romans eleven and one in the reads. You know. I say then has God cast away His people? God forbid. Have God cast away his people? Are the Israelites gone out of existence? No, God forbid. We are the Israelites. Read. Right. For I also am an Israelite. For what? For, For I, I also, also am an Israelite. Israelite. I also am an Israelite. Of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. Of the tribe of Benjamin. Right? That's where Paul was from. Right? So we are the Israelites. Don't forget that. We got Romans 13 11. Romans 13 and 11. Bring it up. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. That what? Yeah. To awake out of sleep. It's high time to awake out of sleep. You can't just walk around here like a zombie. Just going through the motions, doing your nine to five, going out on the weekends, doing your nine to five, going out on the weekends, and then you die at the age of 65. You can't go through the motions. You gotta serve the Lord, become a, king, become a king and a priest. That's how you get saved. That's how you get your salvation, right? Read. For now is our salvation nearer then when we, we believe right now our salvation is nearer than when we believe it's not time to be just, just going through the motions taking it slow I, i'm gonna slowly come into it but the other guys i gotta get the running right? wake him up huh? y'all see the civil war kicking off i see the wars kicking off in the other nations it only take one press of a button for your whole life to change right they could blow up a city easily but that's just right just like that you gonna be with a city blow up and then, and then the word is gone. You can't find the word no more. You're like, what was I supposed to do? I'm an Israel what? I'm an Israel fight. I'm an Israel knight. I'm an Israel. You're just making up words. I'm not supposed to eat things with skins and, and pale. You, just, you don't know because you didn't, you didn't hearken into the word. That's right. You got you to gotta get it while you can, brother. Right? right, right, right. Let's read. This is Matthew 19 and 16. And behold, one came unto him. Salaki. And behold. One came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may shall I, that I may have eternal life? That I may have eternal life. What good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? Read. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is Yahweh. Right. 
But if thou will enter into life, right? Keep the commandments. Do what? Keep, keep the, the commandments. commandments. Do what? Keep, keep, keep the, the commandments. commandments. Right. Keep the commandments. If thou will enter into life, keep the commandments. That's right. how you serve the Lord. Keep the commandments. All right. All right, y'all brothers, be safe. Y'all can stay if I want you, but I'm just letting y'all know you have to keep these commandments. Right. All right. In the book of Second Thessalonians, chapter three, and verse one. Second Thessalonians three and one in the reads. Finally, brethren, pray for us. Do what? Pray, pray for, for us. us. Right. Finally, brethren, pray for us. That the word of the word of the Lord may have free course. Read. And be glorified even as it is with you. Read. And that we that we may be delivered okay. from all from Come, unreasonable so and wicked men. Come, read that again from reverse to okay. Come. And that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men. All right, yep. that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men. Who's the unreasonable and wicked men? So-called government. People who control this earth. So-called white men. Unreasonable and wicked. We don't have to, we had a sign up here with slavery, but you would see how they used to chop our fingers off and skin us and hang us and burn us and feed our children to alligators right. and kick them and put them in a pillowcase and just swing them around and throw them. Right. Unreasonable and wicked men. Read. Huh. Huh. Give me Genesis chapter 6 and verse 5. Hold that. Give me Genesis verse 6 and verse 5. The book of Genesis chapter 6 and verse 5. And the Most High saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth. The Lord said that the, the wickedness of man was, was great, great in the earth. earth. The Lord said the wickedness of man was great in the earth. And that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Was only what? Was, was only, only evil continually. Continue. Right. The wickedness of man, his heart is only evil continually. Let me Jeremiah 17 verse 9. It said his heart was only evil. That's how. We, that's why the Lord destroyed the earth. You heard about that flood? The Lord, when the Lord, what Noah, Ark, things like that. The Lord, the Lord had to kill everybody. That's right. They don't. Why, why is that not being taught? The Lord had to kill everybody except eight people. Right. There's billions of people on the earth. He said, these people are too wicked. They all got to go. Right. Only saved eight people. Right. That was, brother, that's six chapters into the Bible. Teach, huh? Right. Right. You think about it. That's six chapters right. in the Bible. The Lord said, everybody got to go. Right. Right. You got to think about it. That's who the, the, the Lord is. is just some some nice, sweet uh, white man coming down from heaven. Right, right. right. And, he, and he bold, and he got a long goatee. And it, that, that's not him. The Lord will, the Lord will destroy people. Right. Everything that happens on the earth is because of the Lord. Right. right. It's not it's not just random coincidence. It's not it's not karma. Everything that happens on the earth is because of the Lord. Free. So we spoke to Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 9. Good the heart is deceitful above all things. And it is desperately wicked. And it is what? It, it is, is desperately, desperately wicked. wicked. Right. The heart of man is desperately wicked. Free. Who can know? It? Right, who can know it? Who can know what the next what the man is about to do in his heart? All types of wicked, evil continues, right? Go back to that. So go back to, um, give me Joel chapter 16 and verse 10. Read Amos 3 and 6. This is Amos 3 and 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Right. Shall there be evil in the city? Shall there be what? Shall, Shall there, there be, be evil in the city? city? Right. And the Lord have not done it? Right. The, the, the Lord created everything. He created all the angels. He created all the demons. He created Satan. He created all us. He created everything. So if there's evil done in the city, it's done by the Most High. Right. A, and, 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 and there's a just balance. The Lord saves our people and, and He will destroy our people too. Our wicked people, right? right? They'll suffer the righteous to be saved. But the wicked people, wicked people can be destroyed by the Lord. It's up to the uh, mind of the Most High, right? And He's not unrighteous by doing that. He is the Most High. I get you tell your Creator what to do. You feel what I'm saying? Let me, uh, Job chapter 16, verse 10. Job 16 and 10 in the reads. They have gaped upon upon me. Come, go ahead, gaped, go ahead. Yeah, come. gaped upon me with their mouth. They have smitten me until thy upon the cheek reproachfully. Right? They have gathered themselves together against me. They have gathered themselves against uh together against me. All our enemies are gathered together against us. Read. God have delivered me to the ungodly and turned me over into the hands of the wicked. Read that again from the top. God right. have delivered me to the ungodly. He said the Most High delivered us to the ungodly. Who's the ungodly? People who put us in slavery that still hang us, that still kidnap us, that still uh, steal our organs, steal our melanin, steal our hair, steal our culture, steal our God. Those are ungodly men. Read. 
and turned me over into the hands of the wicked. Right, had turned us over to the hands of the wicked, read. I was at ease, but he had broken me asunder. Right. He had also taken me by my neck and shaken me to pieces. Right, taking us by our neck and shaking us to pieces. A so-called white, a, a cop could come up here and grab you by the back of your neck, and if you try to retaliate, he gonna say you assaulted the officer. Right, right. right. He could literally do that. He could literally come and grab you by the back of your neck and say, what you doing, boy? They can have it on camera and everything. Teach up! If you smack his hand down, he will say you assaulted the officer. Take you to jail. Hold you overnight. And you might have lost your job because you're supposed to be doing the work. It, 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 that, that's how society is. That's how the world is. Bro. And that's the truth. Read. Read. Oh, and set me up for his mark. Right. His archers come past me round about. Read. He cleaved my, my reign asunder. asunder. And dove not spare. He poured out my gall. Upon the earth, Reek. upon the ground, Salaki. He break with me with breach upon breach. He runneth upon me like a giant. I have sued Sackle upon my skin and devoured my horn in the dust. Right, and devoured my horn in the dust. Go back to 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 1. Somebody give me 2 Edges chapter 15 and verse 1. And Probably read that. Second edge, somebody give me second edges 15 and one. Second uh, edges somebody, chapter 15. No, hold it. They give me wisdom Solomon 3 and verse 9. This is Second Thessalonians 3 and 1. Hello. Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free course and be glorified even as it is with you. Right. And that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men. Right. For all men have not faith. Right, for all men have not faith. Give me uh, Second Edges chapter 15 and verse 1. Edges 15. Read that up. Uh, second Edges 15 and 1. Read it up. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people. Right, it said, because all men have not faith. Now, he's saying, speak it to the ears of my people. Read. The words of prophecy. Right. Which I will put in thy mouth. Read. Saith the Lord. And cause them to be written in paper. For they are faithful and true. For they are what? For they, they are, are faithful, faithful and, and true. true. Read. Fear not the imaginations against thee. The Lord say, Fear not the imaginations against thee. Right, and here this truth, knowing that you're an Israelite, knowing that you have to separate from the world and never trust your enemies, you have to uh, fear not the imaginations against you. You can't fear these other nations because we're, uh, we're, we're targets, but right. right? They don't. They that's that, that's what a tar that's what the so-called intelligent black man is a right. target. You know, hold on, he knows too much. We got to keep eyes on him. We're gonna follow him home. Set up cameras, do a steakhouse, be on the other side of the street, watching them. He knows too much. That's right. Read. Let not the incredulity, incredulity. incredulity of them trouble thee right. that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful should die in their unfaithful. The Lord say, For all, all the unfaithful, unfaithful shall die, die in their unfaithful. Right. We just read earlier that all men have not faith. It said all the unfaithful are gonna die in their unfaithfulness. You gotta have faith in the Lord. Right? You can't, you can't, you can't just uh um like, oh, well, I don't know. i never seen him. I don't well, i never seen an angel or something. We got to have faith in the Lord. That's right. Right? Everybody, the Lord wasn't dealing with everybody on the same level. It wasn't It wasn't 15 Moses. It was one Moses. Teach, He was, he was right. talking to everybody. That's right. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying, everybody didn't get the prophecy. It wasn't 35 Pauls. It wasn't It, it wasn't nine John the Revelators. Right. It was only one. It was a, it, The Lord isn't dealing with everybody on that same level. Read. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. Right. The sword, famine. The what? The famine. Sword, the sword and the famine. The sword, famine. The Lord is going to bring plagues upon the world. Sword and famine. What's the sword? The weapons today of America. Got bombs, missiles, guns. People got all types of nicknames for their guns. See, I got the blicky, I got the hammer, I got the street sweeper. What, what else they call it? Um, I got Draco. 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 You said the what? Chocolate. Chopper, the shovel, so you put him in the dirt, the strap. The Lord got nick nicknames for things too. He said the sword. And we got the famine. What's a famine? Famine is when you're running out of food. Or when you're running out of something. So you can have a famine of food, you can have a famine of water. Right. You're going to have a famine of the word. That's right. This, uh, at some point in time, they're going to um, make this Bible illegal. They're going to be like, look, y'all are causing too much of a ruckus. Y'all can't read this anymore. If I'm not mistaken, it's banned in other countries. That's right. Right, right. It's already banned in other countries. Right. And every time something hand to happen in another country, it eventually makes its way over to America. Teach, huh? All those diseases that starts in other countries, where they always make their way to? America. All those wars that happen in other countries, where they always make their way to? America. Somehow they get involved in it. 
Famine is gonna come to America. Famine of the word. Read. Death and destruction. Death and what? Death and, and destruction. destruction. This is in the Holy Bible. The Lord is talking about death and destruction. That's right. This place is gonna be destroyed. Give me, give me Isaiah. Yeah, okay. Give me Isaiah 13 and verse 19. Come. come. This is Isaiah 13 and verse 19. 19. Look at out. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms. So Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, which would be considered America today. America is the glory of kingdoms. Everybody wants that American dream, that American lifestyle. Right. America is being glorified, even though it just, it's, it's just, it's just a, a, I don't want to say it, but it, it just has makeup. On. This is a terrible place. But this, this, the economy is terrible. The streets are terrible. It's potholes, the air, the food. A lot of, if you go to other countries, they don't try to show it because they don't want you to see how bad America is. All these other countries are years ahead of America. Right. Their architecture, infrastructure is way better. That's right. It says the glory of kingdoms, read. The beauty of the Chaldees, read. excellency, shall be as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. It said it shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. You ever heard of Sodom and Gomorrah? Sodom and Gomorrah were cities that were destroyed by the Most High because they were wicked. They went to homosexuality, right. a lot of things, but they were mainly homosexuality. The Lord overthrew that city and destroyed it with fire and brimstone. And that place has never been inhabited again. A, a single blade of grass can't even grow there. Right. That's right. The Lord completely destroyed that place. It's very wiped off the uh, face of the earth. That's how America is going to be. Right. Because this place is wicked. Uh, read, read, uh, it shall never be inhabited. Neither shall it dwell, Salakia. Neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Right, it's going to be destroyed completely. And you don't want to get caught up in that destruction. What did the Lord say salvation was? Sal salvation is being saved from what? Your enemies. Right, the Lord will save you from your enemies. Right. right. But if you want to keep serving your enemies, you, want to be, you just want to be an American, you're cool. The Lord is going to destroy all Americans. He's only saving Israelites. He's not saving Americans. He's not saving uh, people that... Uh, that read the Bible uh, four times and they claim that they know something. He's saving the, uh, the righteous Israelites, the ones of sincere hearts, the one of a pure conscience, the right. one that have faith, the ones that keep the commandments. That's what he's saving. That's right. Let's sit on it. Revelation chapter 18 and verse 1. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, right. having a great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. Right. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, the great is fallen, right. is fallen, and is become the habitation of devils. The what? The it's become the habitation, the habitation of, of devils. devils. Right. This place is the habitation of devils. There's all type of demons in Y'all ever been down here at night? The harbor at night? Mm. You, you don't know what's going on. You got drunkards, you got people on drugs, people that just start dancing and screaming at you, trying to throw stuff at you, spit on you. It's the habitation of devil. You got demons, people walking around with guns, purposely bumping into them so they can say something and shoot them. People do that so they can jump them. Read. And the hold of every foul spirit. All right. And a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. All right. For all the nations have drunk of the wine. For what? For all, all the, the nations, nations have, have drunk, drunk of, of her the wine. wine. All the nations have drunk of the wine, meaning they're trying to uh, copy the American lifestyle. You could do whatever you want to do. You had other nations, uh, so-called, I believe they were Muslim nations, they were forsaking their religion. You got people forsaking, you got uh, Chinese people, Japanese people coming over here and serving white Jesus. So, so, uh, being a Christian, when they have their own gods, they have Buddha. You got Indian people coming over here to serve white Jesus. When they have uh, Rama, Ganesh, Shiva, all their, their other gods, they're forsaking, they're drinking the wine of America. They're trying to be American. For what? Nothing but destruction. Read. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Right. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. Right, and the kings have committed fornication. That's it on that. Uh -huh. Go back to uh, 2nd second Edges chapter 15. And uh what verse you from? Go ahead. Uh, the book of Second Edges chapter 15 and 6. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. The Lord say, For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And all these demons or something, they're trying to get y'all. The demons, that y'all are the main targets. Right. right. Because y'all are the Israelites. Right. And the demons' main job is to get y'all to go. 
It doesn't matter if all these other new shits are going on. Their job is to get you to go up. Mm. Right. Trying to keep the kingdom away from you, but y'all have to fight for the kingdom. Strive for the master. Read. And their hurtful works are fulfilled. Right. Therefore saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more right. as touching their wickedness. I will do what? I will, I will hold, hold my, my tongue, tongge tongue no more as, as touching, touching their, their wickedness. Right. All these people are getting exposed. You got people running around in tunnels. Uh, they showing that they're, uh, they're wickedness, showing who, who's really who, what your actual nationality is. Like I'll be showing y'all, y'all really Israelites. Right. They're exposing fakes, people, uh, creeps and pedophiles and crackheads in right. our government. People uh, doing all type of wickedness in conference rooms in, in the White House or, or wherever they were at in, Cape, in uh, the Capitol building. Right, right. They, these people are getting exposed. That's what the Lord is doing, right? Read. Which they profanely commit. All right. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. All right. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me. The what? The innocent and, and righteous, righteous blood, blood crieth right, unto me. Who do you think the innocent and righteous blood is? Do I have no sin? The, the, the innocent and righteous blood will be the Israelites. All right. Crying out to the most high. Our people getting slain down in the street. Our, our, our ancestors' bones and blood and teeth are, is under this concrete. Right. And they cry out to the most high. People are slain for the word of the Lord. Read. And the souls of the just complain continually. And the what? And, and the souls, souls of, of the, the just, just complain continually. Right. And the souls of the just complain continually. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be having a good time in America. Right. You should be complaining continually. If you're a just man, you're going to be complaining continually. Right? Every day you wake up, oh, I got to go to work. I don't trust nobody that wakes that pops up at 6 a.m. and is happy to go to work. Right. right. They got that morning coffee and they're just ready to go to Teacher. work. Teacher! I don't trust that man. Bro. Right. Just happy to go to work to make $14 an hour. It's people like that. Mm -hmm. like, oh, this this, this all I know. The, uh, the brother was talking about the other day, it was a man who worked at Burger King for 25 years straight. Never missed a day, never was late, and they gave him a gift card. Right. And <laughs> <laughs> movie tickets, a box of now ladies, Mike and Knights, um, a Rubik's Cube, Damn. and rollerblades. He never, been, he never been late. He's probably happy with that. He's probably smiling and cheesing all hard. He worked at Burger King for 25 years, and 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 that's all they gave him, right? And it got people, yeah. and people, they be like, just be happy with what you got. Mm. Right. I'd be happy with what the Lord gives me. That's right. 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 But with the so-called white man, I'm com complain continually. Right. right. Okay, what they do? There's nothing the so-called white man could do, or that all these other nations could do to pay for what they did to our ancestors and are doing to our people currently. Our people are destroyed. Our, our women think they can just kill their babies off. They 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 be like, oh, I, I'm not having no child. I'm a, I'll do the deed, but I'm not having a child. Yeah. I, was, I was talking to somebody the other day, and I was like, I was like, abortion is like literally murder. But she was, yeah. she was saying like, what what if like the woman was like raped? Right. What if the woman was raped? Even they should. She was like, what if like what if the woman was raped? She shouldn't have to uh, like keep it. Right. The Lord the Lord has judgment um, against rape, but that still doesn't the, the, uh, the baby being born is still a person. You know what I mean? It's murder. It, it's, it's still murder. You don't add sin unto sin. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So even still. Our people, give me um, Job chapter 6, verse 4, I believe. I believe Job it. 6 and verse 4. We get out. For the, for the arrows of the Almighty are within me, the poison whereof drinking. Go to 4 6. Job chapter 4, verse 6. Is not this thy fear, thy confidence, thy hope, and the uprightness of thy ways? Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent. Whoever what? Whoever, whoever perished, perished being, being innocent. innocent. Right. Or where were the righteous cut off? Right. Where were the righteous cut off? So, like I said earlier, the Lord, if there's evil in the city, the Lord has done it. The Lord has already done it. Who, who on this earth can say that they're innocent? My hands are clean. I haven't committed sin. You know what I mean? So, everything that happens is of the Lord. But still, like we were reading earlier about um, our people... Even if, but a lot of people haven't been raped. A lot of women just can't control their, can't control their lust. Mm. A lot of men can't control their lust. Right. And just having um, 
and sex and not trying to marry. Right. You're supposed to have a wife. Right? You're not supposed to be just going around having uh, 10 women that you go over here and you go over there and right. you go over there. And you don't take care of them, none of them. You don't teach them the commandments. You're not making sure they're all right. And you're supposed to be a man and take care of your family. And you're not supposed to just leave them. Right. Just hit them and dip them. Or have a little sneaky link or whatever they want to call it. All that, all that madness. You're supposed to be a man and take care of your kids. That's right. right. But like I said earlier, our, our people uh, just don't see anything wrong with it. Just want to uh, kill each other. Abortion, I think uh, I think we had like 78 million abortions in our community. Mm. 70, that's a lot of people. First right. Timothy 5 and 8 and it reads. Bring it up. Bring it up. But if any provide not for his own. But if what? If, if, if any, any provide, provide not for his own. own. What type of man would have a child and not provide for Right. You couldn't control yourself. If you if you if, if you felt like you were man enough to lay down with a woman, you should be man enough to take care of the child. That's right. right. Not saying the child is a consequence, but you have to deal with what you did. Right. If you weren't, if you didn't want to have a child, you should have controlled yourself and not laid down with the woman. Right. Mm -hmm. Go on. And it's especially for those of his own house. And who? Especially, especially for, for those, those of, of his, his own, own house. house. Right. It says especially for those of your own house. If we see, we, and we out here, um, and people don't recognize, we out here taking care of our people. People would be like, well, what do y'all do for the community? We out here teaching our people that we Israelites. Right. right. Telling them to change their eating habits for the Lord. Tell them to stop hating each other, stop murdering each other. Right. What else could you do for the community? Giving, that, giving everybody a turkey on Thanksgiving isn't doing anything but causing them to sin. Right. right. You could help clothe people. You could teach them. You could give them knowledge. There's other ways to build up your community. Right. Well, our people have to get their spirits right. Our, pe our people's spirits are all out of order. Right. right. Let me back. Go back to um. Go to oh read. And especially for those of his own house, he have denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. Is what? It is, is worse than an infidel. He denied the faith and worse than an infidel. Mm -hmm. the wisdom of Solomon chapter 3 and verse 9. This is wisdom of Solomon 3 and verse 9. Let me go back to like this. Before, before we go to that, go back to 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 and go to verse uh, 3. 2 Thessalonians verse, 3 verse, and verse 3. Verse, verse, 3. Two. verse 2. And that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men right from all men for all men have not faith Read. but the lord is faithful but the what but, but the, the lord, lord is faithful, faithful right who shall who shall establish you and keep you from evil right go, to, go back man. go back to wisdom of solomon 3 and 9. we read about in second edges 15 that you got famine coming on earth you got a sword death and destruction all time and, and martial law things kicking off the lord said who shall deliver you who shall establish you Read. wisdom of solomon 3 and verse 9. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. Right. And such as be faithful in love. And then what? And, and such as be faithful in love. It says, they that put their trust in him. Read that again from the top. Verse 9. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. Right. You got to put your trust in the Lord. Then you'll understand the truth. Mm -hmm. If you're still holding on to, uh, if you're still holding on, waiting for somebody to come. Somebody from another nation to come give you a handout and to give you the truth and you're not focusing on the Lord, you're going to be waiting all day, brother. Right. Read. And such as be faithful in love right. shall abide with him. Read. For grace and mercy is to his saints. For who? For grace and mercy is to his saints. Right. Grace and mercy is to his saints. Who do you think the saints are? The saints. Who do you think the saints are? Saints. He said grace and mercy is to the saints. Us. Us. We are saints. We're the Israelites. Alright? Three. Who got it? Psalms 148 and 14 in the reads. Bring it up. He also exalted the horn of his people, right. the praise of all his saints. The praise of all his saints. Even of the children of Israel. Even of who? Even, even of the, the children, children of Israel. Children of Israel his saints. Those are the people that get grace and mercy. Right? Hold that real quick. We're gonna give you a quick give me, give me Romans 9 and 3 real quick. This Bible, this Bible is only for the Israelites. I don't know if I made that clear for y'all, but the Bible isn't for everybody. It's only for the Israelites. Right? Read that. The book of Romans 9 and 3. For I could wish that myself was a curse from Hamashiach for my brethren. This is Paul speaking. He said, I wish I was a curse from Christ for my, my brethren. My kinsmen. My brother and my kinsmen, people uh, who are related to you. According to the flesh. No, according to the faith. According, according to, to the, the flesh. According to the uh, spirit. According, according to, to the, the flesh. flesh. 
who are Israelites? What? what? Who, who are, are Israelites? Israelites? Right, read. To whom pertaineth the adoption? Right, say who are Israelites? To whom pertain, meaning pertaining, meaning it belongs to you. And like those skateboards pertain to y'all. Right, y'all shoes pertain to y'all. Those are yours. It says to whom pertain the adoption. You ever heard somebody say, I'm, I'm adopted back into the Lord? Or something like that. You be adopted by the Lord. Well, adoption is for the Israelites that fell away. Like we would be Israelites that fell away, but we're adopted back into the truth. You got right. you got the um other races, I mean other Israelites that don't know the truth, they would be adopted back into the Lord. Because they were cut off. Read. And the glory. And the glory. Right? The glory is for the Israelites. Read. And the covenant. Right, you had the covenant. You got the old covenant, you got the new covenant, read. And the giving of the law. And the law. The law was given unto us. Why do those are the commandments? And why and why did we go into slavery? Because we didn't what? Keep the commandments. The Lord gave us the law. It said it was given to the Israelites. Read. And the service of God. And the service. We are supposed to be the service of the Most High. Read. And the promises. And the promises. Whose are the fathers. And of whom as concerning the flesh. Concerning the flesh. Meaning who you physically are. Coming out of the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. That's where you get the Israelites from. All right. He said whom concerning the flesh. Actual Israelites. Read. Hamashiach came. Right. Yahweh Hamashiach, meaning Jesus Christ. He's, that's what he's saying in the Hebrew. Yahweh Shah Hamashiach came. Who is over all. Who is what? Who, who is, is over all. all. Right. Who is over all. So Christ came for us. The Bible is for us. Read. This is Matthew 15 and 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent. This is Christ speaking. He said, I am not sent. But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. To the lost sheep. Who is lost in the world? We're lost. We don't know anything. Right. We're not trying to know anything. Right. We're just going with the flow. I'm not saying y'all brothers, but a lot of our people don't know anything. Don't they don't seek out any knowledge. They don't try to better themselves. Christ came for those who was lost. That would be us, brother. That's what the Bible the Bible is about us, brothers. That's right. Alright. Give me um go ahead, read. Come on. Joel 2 and 27 in the reeds. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. This is the most high speak. He said, Ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. And that I am the Lord your God. I'm the what? I am the Lord your God. I'm the Lord your God. And none else. And, who? and, and none, none else. else. That's what the Lord said. We, we, we didn't write that. We can't change it. That's what the Lord said. That's what he's about. Right. So I'm the Lord your God and none else. And my people should never be ashamed. And you shouldn't be ashamed of it. You shouldn't be ashamed the Lord is only my God. You shouldn't have doubts. Oh, I don't know. Uh, that might be me. The Lord created people for honor. He created people for dishonor. Mm. That's what he did. Right. That's what the creator does. Right. You got to go. I've got one more verse for you. Give me Revelation chapter 3 verse 11. Revelation. I mean, yeah, Revelation 3 and 11 in the reeds. Hello. Behold, I come quickly. Now I'm taking my time. Behold, Behold I, I come, come quickly. quickly. 500 more years. Behold, Behold I, I come, come quickly. quickly. Right, the Lord said, I come quickly. You know, time to be messing around. Time to be trying to, oh, well, let me see. Let me take it slow. The Lord said, I come quickly. You got to get ready. You got to be ready for one right. of return, right? Hold that fast with thou hast. Right. That no man take thy crown. Let somebody slap it off your head. That no man take thy crown. Let it eat my steal it. That no man take thy crown. Nobody takes your crown. Y'all are kings. I have crowns waiting for y'all. Don't let nobody take it. All right, the next brother about to come up. Come, Yashua. Come, Yashua.